Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the income statement under marginal costing. In my last video, I had shown you the various formulas that we use in marginal costing and the short form of the income statement under marginal costing. So, in the last video, we learned in the last video that sale less than the sale less variable cost what we get is the contribution minus again less fixed cost what we get is our say our profit or loss and with this we also learned about various formulas of contribution pv ratio contribution to sales ratio PEP, margin of safety, ये सब हमने last last video में सीखा। आज हम सीखेंगे कि if this statement, now we all know that there are there are various kind of uh, your overheads, you have various kind of direct expenses like direct costs, like direct expenses, direct material, direct labour। तो ये सारे को हम इस statement में कैसे club in करें? Now generally when you see in your exams, you might get a 10 marker or a 15 marker or a 17 marker question on the statement to be uh, prepared under the marginal costing approach and under the uh, absorption costing approach. So, absorption costing mein kya hota hai, jo normal cost sheet mein sikha hai, where direct, direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, prime cost, add factory overheads, what you get is the gross factory cost. Add opening WIP, closing WIP, which we cost sheet mein padha tha, that is our under absorption costing. So, marginal costing mein kaise hoga? Now, we are going to elaborate this. So, let us prepare our statement, income statement under marginal costing. Format is very important. Any question, any Chapter format should be there. Now, particulars and amount. What was the first thing in our smaller statement? Sales. Same thing will be here. Sales. Next, kya kya humne? Minus variable cost. Now, here I am going to write variable Cost of sales. थोड़ा सा मैंने नाम twist किया. Now how do we reach at variable cost of sales? You tell me direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. These all are variable cost or fixed cost. These are variable cost. Direct material मुझे पता है I can identify it in the material. I know how much cost is incurred for each unit. Let us say I am making this duster. So, I know how much is plastic is, how much is sponge is. That changes with every output. If I make 10 units, I will require 10 units. 10 into 10 into whatever is the requirement of one material. So, it changes with the change in output. So, I have direct material here. Direct labor, again, on the basis of output, your labor will change. So, direct labor. Direct, direct expense, again variable. All these expenses will come here. What I get is the prime cost. Now, after prime cost, kya karte we add the factory overheads. Which factory overheads are we supposed to add? Only the variable part. Why? Because we are calculating the variable cost of sales. So add variable factory overheads. What you get is your variable gross factory cost. Now Again, you will have to do add and less your WIP. Same thing that we are going, we are doing in cost sheet, we will have to follow here. So, add 
opening stock of WIP less closing stock of WIP. Now you might have a question, ma'am, when you are adding opening WIP and closing WIP, these might be the, the, these might contain a fixed part. No, this doesn't contain a fixed part. Why? Because if you are calculating your gross factory cost in this way, this year, last year also you would have calculated it in the same way. If last year also you would have calculated it in the same way, your closing WIP last year will have only a variable factory overheads. Us samay bhi aapne waan pe fix nahi liya hoga. So these are again at variable only. Next, what do you get after this? We get variable factory cost. After that, admin. Add admin. Again, variable. If you have those four line items, you write those four line items. What you get is your variable cost of goods produced. Continuing here. After that again. Now variable cost of goods produced. From cost of goods produced, how do we go to cost of sales? We add opening stock of finished goods. Again the same logic. Since you are Calculating everything on variable this time. Last year also you would have calculated everything on variable portion. When you would have calculated everything on the variable portion, this is again at variable cost itself. Less closing finished goods this year also it would be at variable only. What you get here is your variable cost of goods produced. Kya hamara kaam ho gaya? Nahi, hamara kaam nahi hua hai. Why? Because we are not, we, are, we, don't, we do not need to write cost of goods sold here. We need to calculate the cost of sales. Next, after cost of goods sold kya aata hai? Selling and distribution overheads. Again, which portion? It will have fixed as well as variable. We have to write down only the variable portion. Add Variable selling and distribution overheads. What we get is variable cost of sales. Now this figure we have to write it in negative in the outer column. We have to write it in the outer column. We have got our variable cost of sales. So sales minus Variable cost of sales. Kya milega humko? We are going to get our contribution. Once we get the contribution, what do we deduct from that? Our fixed cost. Now, fixed cost kya hoga? See, all the direct expenses have come here in the variable cost. So, obviously, there is no fixed cost in the variable, in the uh, prime cost. We have three fixed costs again. The three fixed costs is the fixed uh, factory overheads, fixed admin overheads and fixed selling and distribution overhead. So, all three I am going to add here. Fixed factory overhead. Fixed admin overhead and fixed fixed admin, fixed selling and distribution overhead. So when I write all these three and deduct accumulative figure, what I get is my profit or loss. as per marginal costing. 
So this is how our sheet under our cost sheet and income statement under marginal costing looks. Now the one more question that might come here is, ma'am, is this profit equal to my profit under absorption costing? No, this is not equal. Why it is not equal? Reason being, when you are doing this, I told you that your the WITs is again at variable cost itself as well as the opening and closing finished goods, these are again at, at variable cost only. Whereas, under absorption costing, what do you do? You have a cumulative figure for fixed as well as variable. And you put it on each product. So, because of that, this element, the closing stocks and the opening stocks, these include a portion of the fixed asset also, fixed cost also. Because of that, you hear the amounts are changing and your profit will change. So, you might get a question on making cost sheets or income statements under marginal costing as well as under absorption costing and reconciliation of these two statements. Now, we are in, the, in my next video, we are going to do a question where we are going to prepare the income statement under marginal costing under absorption costing and we are going to reconcile the profit. Till then, please have a look at it, try to understand and then be prepared for the next video. Thank you.